Good noon time, everybody. It's $1,400 third stimulus check landing day, and it'll land throughout today to Wednesday. That $1,400 third stimulus check will continue to land throughout the week, first by direct deposit through Wednesday, and then by mail later this week. In this video, I jump into the live chat and answer your questions live on air about the $1,400 third stimulus check, the fourth reoccurring stimulus checks of $1,400 to $2,000 that could start as early as June and go all the way to December and pay you twelve dollars to $20,000 of stimulus checks. I'll also be answering your questions about third stimulus, which you absolutely have to get because this is the big money between now and fourth stimulus. And also those standalone bills like the student loan debt forgiveness that got an incredible push on Friday. Those questions and more are answered live on Noontime LA, starting right now. Hey, good, good noon time, everybody. It's L.A. How are you doing? I hope your day is going well. It is warm here in Los Angeles. I am in the live chat with you. And say hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I see your live chats. And let's get ready to rock and roll. I'll be answering your questions. We're going to start first with third stimulus check, this week's events. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. We'll do third stimulus first. Then we'll go to fourth stimulus. And then we'll also do those standalone bill items which are really heating up. The third stimulus, the questions I've been getting across the board, IRS tool doesn't work, what do I do? Two hacks we have now. One, type the address in all caps, all capitals. It works for about 80 to 90% of the viewers of this channel. Hack number two, get a copy of your most recent statement if you receive benefits and look at the way the IRS types your address. Type it exactly that way, whether it's all caps or whether the abbreviation or the punctuation. Do it exactly those two ways. This appears to be working for a lot of viewers. Next, if you do it and the tool doesn't work, don't worry, because the tool doesn't work for 50% of this channel. And if it does not res give results, don't worry, because stimulus checks are still coming. Next, also understand that stimulus checks are coming by mail. Those wave this current wave of checks will land at the end of this week because they're an April 9th date. Finally, people have been asking about veterans. I have veterans pending for stimulus checks this week. So that notion that veterans had to wait till late April is actually not true. They've gotten stimulus checks from this channel since March. So those stimulus checks could be landing this week as well. Let's turn to the mail check questions which I'm getting. March 26th, when am I getting my March 26th mail check? Any day. What I need you to know is that if you are a March 26 mail check person, it's coming. I know it may be frustrating for me to repeat it to you, but I had a half dozen viewers say it showed up in the mail this morning. So it's coming, it's late. We know it's late, it's coming. Also, the April 2nd to 5th checks, people are asking, are those later on time? We don't know enough data about that so far. Some of them look like they're on time. So with that, let me answer some of your questions you may have first about the $1,400 third stimulus check and its arrival this week. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments right now. Let's see if there are any one questions. Uh, got in the mail today, someone just said. Wow, congratulations. Uh, let me see some of the comments. Wow, the comments are moving very quickly. Um, so someone just said, Bank America, who was that? Uh, that was Brenda, Bank America. So understand, you will not have available funds until Wednesday. You will not have available funds until Wednesday unless you are with some of the smaller banks that made the funds available on Friday. So you won't see the available funds until Wednesday. Um, and if you bank at Bank America, you can call them up on Tuesday to see if it's pending for Wednesday. Student loan debt forgiveness, Kate. Uh, yes, I'll answer that later in the video. Great question. Oh, a lot of people have asked this question. I don't know if this is what Athena is asking, but a lot of people have said, when I use the tool, it shows a different last four digits of my bank account. It's the wrong uh, bank account information. That may be signaling that they're going to attempt that account, it's going to fail, and then it's going to go by the mail. Nothing in the mail yet for April 2nd. Ronald, thank you for your comment. 
Uh, Deborah, it's crazy the first two checks, another Deborah, <laughs> it's crazy the first two checks uh, came by direct deposit, and who knows how I'll get the first, get the third. No, I've had viewers who got the second stimulus check by mail and got the first one by direct deposit. It's just all over the place. Barry, B of A, B of A, IRS tool, direct deposit, April 7th. Congratulations, Barry Hudson, and thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Dancing pair, <laughs> dancing pair. So if a lot of a couple of people are showing IRS tools shows nothing available. Um, again, two things could be happening. One, it simply doesn't know, it doesn't recognize you, and the tool is not working. Or two, it's in the mail. Uh, yes, Tabitha said, LA, please tell people to check their email for alerts. A lot of banks have email alerts you can set up. And so make sure you have those banking alerts set up. Uh, every bank has a call center that'll help you set up those email alerts. They're not particularly easy if you're not used to going into their portal. Have you heard anything more about the hazard pay for people who make more than $25,000 last year? No, they're actually, I've not heard anything more about that. Anything more about the $2,200 of SSI and SSDI? No. What you need to know is the following. Let me jump into this. We're still on third stimulus checks. So if you have questions about third stimulus checks, drop them in the comments and I'm back in the live chat and read them right away. This is what I want you to know. The big push right now is those monthly stimulus checks because 21 of 20 senators want to give you this money. I know you may want a particular thing because it's your thing, but don't be don't go the round, wrong route. The correct route is the biggest money, the big tsunami of money, and that is those monthly stimulus checks. It dwarfs $2,400 of SSI. It dwarfs hazard pay. It dwarfs FPUC retro. So get behind those Democratic senators and say, push, push, push. Get this four stimulus package bill in the Senate as fast as possible. Let me go over these numbers with you right now. And it's very important that I get this message loud and clear, and that if you know the message, repeat it to other people. These are huge numbers. These make the $2,400 by SSI look like, look like tiny little crumbs. $12,000 if it's $2,000 a month for the month of July to December. $2,000 a month for the month of July to December. If it's $1,400 a month from July to December, that's $8,000. These are enormous sums of money that you would get if you're on SSI or SSDI, if you're an essential worker. This money has incredible push by those people in the Senate, and this is the money you need to get behind. Let me jump back into the live chat. Uh, Guintola, listen, if you receive SSI and you're a dependent, do not look for your own stimulus check. Yes. So these are the people who do not receive a stimulus check. If you are a dependent on someone else's tax return, or you have a representative payee, they have your stimulus check. Thank you for that great question and that great comment. Let me jump back in the live chat and see what other people are saying. Would the stimulus work for all dependents? Yes, that's a great question from Jennifer Bai. So this is what you need to know. This forced stimulus would be for everyone. Uh, let me grab my, let me grab the, there I am. <laughs> How are you? Uh, the force stimulus is for everyone. It's for everyone. So I don't know why anyone would go against force stimulus as a viewer of this channel. It's for dependents. It's for children. It's for SSI and SSDI. It's for veterans. It's for hazard pay. It's for FPUC people. It's for everyone. Why would you not want to get behind the, the biggest payout and the biggest movement that has the biggest support? It's so obvious. And so if this is this is where all the energy should be, and let me uh, and with that let me put up that num that calculation so you see the impact of this numbers, and there we are. Uh, thank you, Sean, for the super chat. A dancing pair, <laughs> John with a dancing pair. Uh, so Keith, let me answer Keith's question. Uh, no, Karen, Karen. Uh, Blancato. This is Karen Blancato says, I don't want that $12,000 because I want the 20% lifetime increase. I don't know who told Karen she's getting a 20% lifetime increase. I never did. 
this channel has consistently said that there were two other items that Elizabeth Warren proposed under Social Security reform. One was up to a 20% increase and a new benchmark different than COLA. A large percentage of SSI and SSDI recipients would never qualify for that 20% increase. So do not say, I, want, I don't want $12,000, I want a 20% increase, because most of the time you may not qualify for the 20% increase, even under Elizabeth Warren's own plan. Second, the, EI, the new benchmark is pennies of dollars a year. It's $20, $30, $40, $50 dollars a year. $50 dollars a year versus $12,000, dollars, it, it doesn't make sense. Don't be pushing for something that it pays a lot less. Push for the biggest thing that is happening right now. 10, 12, 8, 9,000 dollars. This is what these people want to give you. You put every push you have behind these people to get this money out the door. I'll be covering some videos from Dr. Walensky and Dr. Fauci in just a second. Let me jump back into the live chat. Oh, Aaron asks a great question. Is there any way to get your future stimulus check switched to direct deposit? Yes, file a tax return and provide that uh, direct deposit information on your tax return. I had viewers who did that for this round and it worked. They got that tax return in on February 12th or 15th and it worked. They got their stimulus check literally on March 16th. It absolutely does work. Uh, so would the fourth stimulus go to the dependence bank? That's a great question, Michelle. So if you're a viewer who doesn't like this dependence situation, switch your tax status. Switch your tax status in 2020 and list yourself as an individual tax filer. I've had a lot of viewers do that over the last year. They were tired of these dependents. Here's what you need to know. In 2020, the first stimulus package did not pay a stimulus check to adult dependents. It cut them out. It didn't pay them one. So you did the, the first stimulus package, people who are adult dependents didn't get that $1,200 stimulus check. Guess what happened? A lot of them were really upset about it. And so what they did was they filed in 2020 their 2019 tax return to list themselves as a sole, as a sole individual, not as a dependent. Guess what? When the second stimulus check came around in December, they got the $600 because they didn't want to deal with this worry that maybe Democrats won't give adult dependents a stimulus checks. This time around, the third stimulus check, yes, adult dependents get a stimulus check. But if you're a person who's a little worried about the situation, consider changing your tax status. That would alleviate the concern that someone else is getting your stimulus check or that the Democrats don't want to give adult dependents a stimulus check. Great question. Um, and let me jump back into the live chat. What sites do we push on, says Brent, Brent, another Brenda. <laughs> that would be Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Non-filing SSI, Annie, uh, you're fine so long as Social Security knows where you are. If you receive your benefits every month, you're fine. Only thing I'm worried about, Annie, is if you have any children and the IRS doesn't know about those children. Chrissy, thank you, Chrissy, for becoming a Purple Hawk. Everyone, welcome Chrissy to the family. Lynn Glenn, LA, tell everyone the more people that get behind for a stimulus check, the better. Yes, Lynn Glenn. Um, I'm going to repeat Lynn Glenn's comment very clearly. This channel does millions of viewers every day. I don't want you to be segmented out into separate subjects and say, I want to fight for this and I want to fight for that. These senators want to give you multiple stimulus checks, a check every month. They have never said the amount of the check, but they have said that they want to keep the qualifications the same as this stimulus check. Well, that's you. <laughs> that's you. And they want those monthly stimulus checks to go all year long. That's you. You need to get behind those senators. Why? Because there's three issues at hand. One, the job market is improving. The economy is improving. And if you get this bill to the Senate too late, by late summer, the economy could be rebounded and those Democratic senators could get cold feet and say, you know what? I think we're okay now. We don't need more stimulus. Number two, the faster the bill gets there, the more months of checks you get. And finally, three, you don't want the bill to go by Democratic uh, and Republican bipartisanship. Now, this may be a strange message to deliver to anyone across the board, but here's what you need to know, is that if this bill 
does not go by reconciliation, but tries to go by bipartisanship, guess what? No Republican is going to give you a stimulus check. They've already said that. So on Sunday, this individual, Roy Blount, Blunt, spoke about how he has a option to solve the situation. What was his option? His, his counteroffer to the president was to remove stuff from the stimulus package. If we just think, I, I think there's an easy win here for the White House, Blunt said on Sunday. If they would take out, take the win, it would make it an infrastructure, which is about 30% of the bill. And if we take, if we do 30%, it's about 615 or so billion dollars. I think you can do that with some innovative things. What Blunt, Blunt said was the following, that basically he wants to make the bill just one thing, roads, highways, subways, water, electricity, electrical grids, electrical cars, and internet. And that's it. He says, we can do that. And that's about 300 billion. That's about $600 billion. Guess what? There's no stimulus checks in there. You do not want the president to try to do a bipartisan bill because ultimately a bipartisan bill means no stimulus checks. Let me jump back into the live chat and see what people are saying. Um, and across the board, if you have questions or comments about four, about the third or fourth stimulus check, that's what we're currently on. And then I'll cut to those standalone bills in just a second. Uh, Linda, they should do hazard pay. Was that ever was that ever sent? They should do hazard pay. Absolutely, I agree 100%. Danielle, thank you, LA, for all you do. I appreciate that. Radar, I'm one person, nobody cares. Uh, Radar, you're one of many people. It only takes the persistence of met one voice to get things done. You're very important, Radar. Uh, Terry, why is it that only SSI and SSDR are the only ones getting help throughout the, the year? That was not their fault. I've worked through this entire pandemic as a grocery store worker. Uh, that's a great question, Terry. So under the third stimulus package, there is relief, Terry, for you and everyone else. And that's a good se segue, Terry, for me to cover the other money under third stimulus. The other money under third stimulus is huge, and I want you to get that other money for third stimulus with you, with me, starting today. The other money under third stimulus for people like Terry is the following. Money for rent, money for utilities, money for internet. It's big money. It's not $1,200. It's thousands and thousands of dollars. Under the third stimulus package, the federal government sent money to cities, states, and counties for you to get that money. And that money is landing in the next few days. What are the standards? Well, the federal government sets the standards, and ultimately the city, county, and state can change those standards. But you don't have to be behind on rent. Rather, you can just have experienced financial hardship because of the pandemic to get that rent or utilities or food. If you're a property owner, then you can also get help with your mortgage as well. Mortgage assistance, utility bills, and housing bills as well. If you have a child, you can also get $3,600 for that child or $3,000 for that child, depending on their age. And these are the big sums of money that are available for you. You want to get these monies now. Now, in addition to those other monies, there are other items that some people qualify for and some don't. Let me go over the other items that are happening in third stimulus. They are the money for the college students, which is $1,700. Reach out to your financial aid advisor for that. The big money for the, uh, for the businesses. If you're a sole practitioner, anything from Uber or Lyft or Grubhub up to a restaurant owner, there's the EIDL grant about to go live, not live yet. There is the shuttered venue grant, which you may qualify for. It's not just for venues. There's also the restaurant grant, which is about to go live as well. These are big sums of money, and they're all in third stimulus. And my dedication is to ensure that you get this money on third stimulus. Meantime, Dr. Fauci spoke today a little bit about his thoughts of ensuring that you always get two doses, not one doses, when confronting the vaccine. Let's listen to his comments released this morning about 
the vaccine. What about the safety and importance of vaccination in that setting? Next slide. A few months ago in November 2020, uh, MMWR, the CDC did an analysis of about 400,000 women with symptomatic COVID-19. And though the numbers were small, it became clear then that there was very likely an increased risk among pregnant women versus non-pregnant women for adverse outcomes of the pregnancy itself and for them as pregnant women, if they contracted the disease COVID-19 as shown by the risk ratios on this slide. Also speaking today was Dr. Walensky. Let's listen to her message uh, during today's briefing. We are learning that many outbreaks in young people are related to youth sports and extracurricular activities. According to CDC guidance, these activities should be limited. But if they are not, the risks of clusters can be, uh, can be prevented with cadence testing strategies as are being rolled out in so many different places. I understand that people are tired and that they are ready for this pandemic to be over, as am I. Please continue to hang in there and to continue to do the things that we know prevent the spread of the virus. If we all continue to wear a well-fitting mask, physically distance, and get vaccinated, America can and will get out of this pandemic. We can meet this moment if we keep doing our part. Everyone working together, getting vaccinated as soon as possible is how we can turn the corner. During that video, there's a series of great questions and comments. Let me answer some of them right now. One of the viewers asked, uh, what is the housing assistance for homeowners, says Trish Campbell. So homeowners get mortgage assistance, whether it's privately held mortgage like a Chase or publicly held mortgage like a, a Fannie or Freddie Mae. Also, a utility bills in the house. And then it it is really up to the city, county, and state what they want to add on to there, whether it includes property taxes. This is what you need to know when we talk about rent and property owner assistance under third stimulus is that the federal government sends the money out to the localities and the federal government sets a standard, but ultimately the localities determine their standard in, in accordance with the federal guidelines. They can make them less restringent, more restringent. Here's what you need to know. Three places may have your money, the state, the county, and the city. So if you don't like the response from one, as, as one viewer didn't, they said, I reached out to my state. I didn't like what they said to me. I said, well, reach out to your city. Oh, I didn't think about that. So reach out to the other one because they may have the response you want. We need to get those four stimulus out as quickly as possible, says Art. Absolutely. Tabitha, thank you for all your time. You're greatly appreciated. I th appreciate that, Tabitha. Uh, if you have more questions or comments right now, drop in the comments right now. Let me cut to those standalone bills, as I promised I was going to cover uh, early in this video. The mortgage, is, excuse me, the student loan debt forgiveness is really heating up. Those student loan forgiveness pushes from Chuck and Liz have been going on since last December. But finally, on Friday, the president of the United States by, uh, made a move. He decided that in the next two weeks, his education secretary will produce a deal memo that will determine the legal validity to forgive $50,000 of student loan debt. Do I think it's going to happen? Yes, I do. If Elizabeth Warren is telling the truth, she says that the president does have a legal authority to forgive $50,000 of student loan debt. And that's likely what that deal memo will say in the next two weeks. Take it to Twitter and your social in your social media with MSC, says Cindy. Absolutely. Cindy Sue Fetter. Take this video and share it on social media. Hashtag MSC. You want this bill in the Senate as fast as possible. LA, what is the fourth stimulus? I've never heard of this before. Well, that's why you gotta tune into this channel. I don't know. I think I've made maybe 30 videos so far about four stimulus. Uh, Connie, you're the best, LA. I appreciate that. What does the utilities help wor uh, work for low income? So utility assistance is for um, is for anyone that is particularly behind on the bills, but everything changes based upon how your locality and your city does it. Uh, Julia, is it true you can't get PUA if you if you are on PUA you can't get PPP? Generally, yes. It doesn't make sense. PPP is to get you back to work. 
PUA is to say you don't have a job. So you can't be either getting back to work or not being getting back to work at the same point. Where is my moolah, says American Patriot. Uh, why? I still had the March 27th date waiting for mail today, says Thomas. Yes, Thomas Donato. Stay positive. I've had about a, a handful of viewers get that check showing up today in the mail. If you have questions or comments, drop them right now. I see Ronnie and I see Vicky. I'm on SSI and have direct deposit. Will it just post or what? If you're direct expressed by Comerca, it will just post on April 7th if it's coming by direct deposit. But watch the mail. It may come in the mail. Need their stimulus checks, says Amy. El Marie. We love you, LA. We appreciate everything you do for us. Well, I appreciate you for watching. I miss you when you all disappear for Easter. So don't don't disappear on me like that. Like y'all y'all went out and you know went to the casino with the Easter bunny yesterday. <laughs> so you only answers members' questions, Yvonne. That's absolutely untrue, Yvonne. Don't come with me with that stuff. Um, let's look at how many people are in the chat that are members or not members. That's absolutely untrue. Um, you can drop your comments again, and I'll be happy to answer, Yvonne. Uh, Elliot, have you heard that the fourth stimulus passing by July 4th? Monty, Nancy Pelosi has talked about getting the bill passed in July, by July. There's a recess somewhere in July. Um, I don't want the bill to go that long. Where's the help for homelessness, says Jason Miller, who's not a member as well. Um, the help for homelessness is in the third stimulus package. It's available for rent for homelessness to get into uh, housing. There's money for homeless to get into housing. Again, this is administered by your city, state, and county. Oh, Linda, I hope you feel better. What's Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi doing here? Uh, <laughs> Did someone say four stimulus check? We did say four stimulus check. $1,700 for students go directly to financial aid. Phaedra. Is the internet broadband out yet, Matthew Seitz, uh, Cisco? It is out because it was out under third stimulus. Reach out to the volunteers if you need help finding that, uh, that internet. So April. I got my third stimulus check, but my husband and I are joint filers. That's very peculiar. So watch for that over the next few days. Roy Rogers, even though I abandoned you, I, even if I get my check, I'm not abandoning you. I appreciate that. This is what you need to know. If you're just tuning in, this is what you need to know. This is what, April 5th today? Uh, let's say you get that stimulus check on Wednesday, $1,400. Okay, when's the next check I can get you? Nothing's automatic after this. The next check that you, I can get you is requiring you to do a certain amount of legroom. That is third stimulus, rent, utilities, food, internet. Also under third stimulus, the ch college student, or if you have a child. Automatic if the IRS knows the child exists, but not automatic if the, child, the IRS doesn't know the child exists. Also, if you pay taxes, on your unemployment, there's a way to get that money refunded back to you. If you haven't filed your tax return, that's a big that's a big sum of money. And that's just a few weeks out. That's May. I covered that in the video before this. Then after that, also happening in the next few days, potentially, is a smaller group of viewers. These are the, the sole practitioners, the Uber, Lyft, and Grubhub drivers. The EIDL, about to go live. The Shuttered Venue Grant, which is not just for venues about to go live. So that money you got to apply for it, not automatic, but it's a lot of money. And then we head into four stimulus. Four stimulus, you want it to go out the door by June, you know, so that the, the check lands in your hands by July. But as we look here, and this is April, and there's July, that's a long time to go with no stimulus from this federal government. That's why you got to get the big money that's available for third stimulus and these standalone items, these standalone bills, which I'm covering in the next few days and every day. Thank you for your incredible questions and comments. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. I'll see you later on Afternoons L Light, coming up later on this channel. Stay informed, stay focused, keep on smiling, and stay with me. And of course, stay here with L Light for more later today. <laughs>